Hello there my friends, and yes, welcome back uh, to the new server, this server that once again does not have a name, it still doesn't have a name guys, it still doesn't have a name, I'm just hanging out here with the jungle temple pigs, just you know, chilling out fishing, uh, the beautiful, beautiful jungle temple, I love you, uh, yeah, check out the sand man, I am... Um, I updated my texture pack. Uh, I'm now running the faithful 64 by 64 bit, so um, everything looks a lot more sharper, like a hell of a lot more sharp, especially the sand and the grass. So, um, tell me what you think. I'm not sure about it. I don't know. I don't know. But um, anything to sort of you know try and um, you know improve the sort of quality of my videos, I shall give it a try. So. Anyway, uh, onwards to the plan for today, guys. Today is the big day. T today is the day that we start the Japanese dojo. Yep, Mark Two, Number Two. Uh, like I explained in the previous video, um, I've gone a bit more mili sort of militarized, I guess. Uh, it's more of a castle now. Uh, um, I'm basing this on a real sort of c castle that I visited previously. Uh, about a couple of months ago, um, actually, uh, it's probably the most famous castle in Japan. Uh, it's called Himeji Shiro, uh, or Himeji Castle. And um, if you want to see a picture, uh, I can show you one right now. Uh, this is a picture of it. The reason why I like it is because um, it's rather compact, but it's still quite tall. Uh, and also, once I build it, hopefully, I should have my own sort of courtyard in the center for an awesome Zen garden or something along those lines. Uh, although I think this picture here, uh, this sort of picture of a model of it, um, really shows it a bit better, I think. You can really see like the different levels of it, I think it's cool. So, uh, let's get rid of those pictures. Uh, on to today, as you can see, um, the texture on the chest also changed with the 64 bit. I don't know, I don't know what to think of them. They definitely look a lot sharper though, I definitely like it, but I'm just, I, I don't know about this extra detail, they just look so damn different. Uh, since last episode, guys, I've been creeped so many damn times, I don't know, there's so many mobs on this server, like how many entities are there now? What, 130? Um, which is good, you know, that was one, that was one of the issues with the previous server. Um, so yeah, so since last episode, uh, I've been gathering materials. Uh, I've done nothing. I've built nothing really. I've just, I've simply been gathering materials, uh, and I have categorized them in these chests here. Um, luckily, fortunately, I found a um, uh, a abandoned mine shaft. Uh, so I managed to obtain all this redstone here, which is cool. Uh, got some iron as well, along with uh, some iron that I brought with me. I brought all these, all this iron and this iron here from there. Uh, from the previous server, which is cool. Um, so yeah, I've got my my lovely loved wool here. Um, so that's all good. I should have a sort of ample supply of that. Also, thank you to Momo and Alex for this wool. Uh, I think they fought ahead and they've given me uh, some wool for the flooring, uh, which is cool. Thank you guys very much. Uh, also from Stevo, uh, he just uh, he just offered me all of this cobblestone. Now I know what you're thinking, guys. Like, Reg, don't build out of cobblestone, man. What the hell are you thinking? Um, but uh, it serves a purpose. It serves a purpose I will explain uh, later on. Um, also, uh, I've still got this wood here. Um, and the light wood, as, uh, which is also useful for, for the stairs. So thanks again, guys, for that. And the black wool for, for the sort of out of frame of the walls. So the next question. Uh, the, the next question to be answered is where is the dojo going to be built? Now this is a completely different design to the last dojo. This is the Dojo Mark II. Like I said, it's more of a castle. Um, it's I'd say it's maybe roughly around the same size, but it's more squared than L-shaped this time. And, and also because I've got a sort of rather large flat area to work with, I don't have to worry about you know adapting it to the area. So what I was thinking was, I was having a little look around, and um, one of my concerns uh, that I think should be noted is that, uh, fortunately, I only have one neighbour, uh, my good pal, Mr. Luca, Mr. Croakley, Naga, 
Gaming, uh, just over there, beyond this sort of hill line here. Um, and you know, he's cool, we sort of, you know, we get on like a house on fire, uh, but regardless of whoever it is or would have been, um, I where my sort of main base is, I don't want to be able to see any, like sort of anyone else's base. So fortunately I've got this rather large mountain here. Um, now, so that means that I want to build my base in line with this mountain because then uh, I won't be able to sort of see over it. So I'm thinking like just in front of the wall pillar there that we built last episode. Uh, another factor that I need to consider is uh, that jungle over there. Uh, I don't want to see it. It's too it's too green for me, you know. It's just too it's just too green for me. Um, in terms of the sort of specs uh, for the base, that's what we shall be starting today, guys, and hopefully finishing today is the base of the uh, castle. Uh, sort of all in all, this sort of full thing will, will be seven. It will be around 57 blocks that way. So this length will be 57 blocks, uh, and go and from here t that way it'll be around 47 blocks. Uh, so I also have to think about that this river here. If I fill it in with grass, then one it won't snow because that's a river biome, and two the sort of grass color will be a different, really bland color that I don't like. So um, there's many factors here, guys. Many factors to be considered before beginning the building process. You know, I sort of pride myself. Um, you know, if you had to sort of categorize my Minecraft playstyle, I guess I'm more of a builder. You know, a sort of um, aesthetic builder. You know, I don't really play with redstone or, you know. Oh man, check check out the grass texture now. I don't know what I think of it. I don't know what I think of it. And the the swords like really sharp. Stoked. Okay, so I'm thinking from here. So this will be the corner, and it will go out from here. So um, I'm going to gather my forts, guys. Uh, I'm also going to gather the materials from the chests. I'm going to get in into the right frame of mind for this because this will involve mathematics, and as we all know, I cannot count. Uh, so, guys, uh, I'm going to prepare, and I shall be right back. Okay, then, guys. So I've gathered. Um, mainly cobblestone here and I just killed a skeleton that's why I've got these in my uh, in my inventory and I, and I gather some grass blocks also uh, because we will be doing a little bit of terraforming but uh, so um, if I could just uh, if I could just show you this picture again now uh, you'll see that sort of the, the you know this sort of main larger building uh, that's the sort of keep I guess um, that's what we're going to be building first because that's going to be sort of where uh, where everything will be sort of housed uh, for example like the storeroom etc so um, the dimensions for it um, I roughly estimated it to be around 34 this way and 25 that way so um, it's going to it will take up the majority of the width and the length of the entire dojo itself so what I'm thinking is uh, I've just had a run back and forth this way and that way, and uh, we actually have quite a lot of room here. I was, um, you know, I'm I'm still a bit surprised at how wide 200 blocks for a plot really are. So we don't have to be that close to this, to this, um, to this mountain here. So what I'm thinking is, firstly, we have to build a free high, uh, a free high wall. Um, now, trust me on this one, guys. Uh, it will be out of cobblestone, but just trust me. Just trust me. I know. I know what I'm doing. I, I've built Japanese-style buildings since I've been playing Minecraft. So hopefully, this will look equally as sick. So basically, what I'm thinking is we can start it anywhere, really. Um, what should we say, guys? Should we say maybe? Oh, I don't know. This is it. This is probably the most important choice of the whole build right now. I don't know, I don't know, what about, I'm thinking where this flower is, I'm thinking right where this flower is. There we go, it's as simple as that. Now we just come out like this. So um, of course I'm not going to show you me placing all these blocks, 
Um, hell, I've even lost count right now because I'm talking. I'm just ra I'm just randomly placing blocks. <laughs> uh, so yeah, anyway, this has to be 34 long. So guys, basically what I'm going to do is uh, 34 this way and 25 long way. So I'm I'll, I'm going to make a square, uh, and then I'm going to build three up. Okay, so I'm going to make a square. I'm going to build three up, and then I'm going to come back then, and uh, we are going to continue this scene. So um, I shall be right back. Okay then guys, uh, I'm back and uh, I did a little more than just the first level, yeah. Um, I thought I might as well get the majority of the base done um, in one shot, you know. I didn't want to just keep sort of cutting back uh, every time I did one damn level. Pretty mundane stuff this guys, you know, it's basically just grunt work. So anyway, um, as per the update basically, uh, I did the free high that I mentioned. Uh, I went all the way around in a sort of square shape. Then above that I did a further free. Uh, then above that I, I did two. And above that I did another two. And on top of this will rest the main dojo itself. Uh, now I've been playing, uh, I was playing around with um, a lot of things in creative um, because uh, in my build uh, something that I sort of pride myself on uh, would definitely be the fact that I, I, I like to go into a lot of detail uh, with my builds, especially uh, with the sort of small detail, you know. And uh, something that was discovered, not by me, coincidentally, by another player on the server, uh, a dude by the name of Tsubai Momo. That's right, bro. Um, I am mentioning you. Uh, when we were playing in creative one time uh, he randomly placed stairs down like this uh, and I thought it looked freaking awesome man uh, they sort of represent bat you know maybe battlements um, as this you know the sort of purpose of the castle being sort of built up like this on this stone structure um, is obviously purely for defensive purposes and adding these in, you know, it, it just sort of gives it that extra level of defense, I guess. Um, although, other than that, you know, you may be thinking, well, Reg, why would there be battlements down here, you know? <laughs> There's a freaking wall here. Um, my answer to that is, uh, they do actually hold purpose. They do hold purpose. Uh, and the purpose is that, um, basically, once I install a, a beacon in the area of the dojo which obviously I will do sometime in the future uh, if I install the jump sort of power then people if these were not here then people would be able to jump up this and then eventually get up onto my walls but with these here that makes it impossible of uh, obviously I'm going to, to sort of lower this area here too so yeah that's their purpose uh, another thing that um, I thought looked pretty cool is um, sort of not just having this sort of big bulk of cobblestone as as it is you know but sort of framing it uh, making it look a, a that sort of extra bit more structured uh, as we go up I think this looks pretty this this looks pretty sick as it is uh, so just to look at it now we're left with something like this I've left the trees in because I'm a bit lazy there's the original wall wool I still cannot say that word wool wool column there I have to like lower my voice when I want to say it uh, so anyway I thought um I thought we would indulge in a little bit of my knowledge I guess um particularly with uh, a certain question that I'm asked many a times I've been asked this quite a lot since I've joined the service it's since I've been sort of you know more active on YouTube you know, if I ever participate in live events and such um, that involves a audience, I'm normally asked the same question, and, and that question is, Rich, why are you living in Japan? And I thought, you know, I'll just take some time to, uh, you know, indulge in those that are interested in um, sort of international travel, and maybe, you know, maybe you're thinking of living in a country, maybe when you grow up or you've always like it you know you've always wanted to and um, my story is is that uh, when I was 20 I originally went backpacking uh, my original plan was uh, to go to Japan and then onwards to China and then, and then down to Australia and New Zealand 
Um, although uh, once I arrived in Japan, I went on, on my own. Uh, once I arrived in Japan, I sort of fell in love with the language. Um, yeah, I just sort of fell in love with the language. Um, and yeah, so basically uh, I decided to stay in Tokyo. I lived in Tokyo for around a year and um, it was there where I finally decided, you know, that I was going to, that that's where I wanted to, you know, sort of truly be right there in that sort of like a language, you know. That's why I left England uh, because basically um, there's not really a challenge there for me in England, you know, there's just the sort of same old, same old jobs going, you know. Um, if, you know, I don't believe that life should be a challenge, but I, sh I believe that we should always be sort of learning something new. And uh, I just wasn't really learning anything new in England, so I thought I might as well be where I want to be, right? It's like common sense, really. Yeah. So I came out to Japan, and hopefully I, I can return back to England as a as a sort of full fledged interpreter, and then I can, you know, sort of travel the world once again. So yeah, um, if you ever get the opportunity, guys, to go traveling, take it from me. Please, please do not miss out on that opportunity because um, it changed me, man. It freaking changed me. Like, thinking back to how I was back when I was like 20, God, I was so damn naive. But now I, I like, um, ah, oh, yeah, it's, it, you know, it, it really brings back a lot of, uh, a lot of, a lot of memories, a lot of memories. Like, yeah, uh, when I was, um, when I was in college, uh, b before I started university, I was um, like my major, I guess you could call it, was um, it, well, it was always in sports. So, um, you know, I've never really been that much of a academic type. So, for me to be, you know, sort of su like succeeding in a very, ac you know, in in a sort of very, sort of, I don't know, ac like academic workplace is. Um, is a real sort of success for me, I guess. <laughs> I guess, you know, even though I'm not really that intelligent at all, I guess I've just got a knack for languages, you know. But, you know, guys, uh, when you learn a new language, it really does open up doors. You can meet new, you can meet new people, you know, you can make new friends, find new loves, even. <laughs> man, I'm just trying to like roll, like roll, uh, romanticize it. Well, man, we are going through these, these stairs. Um, I can't get up. Uh, I'm also going to put half slabs here, by the way, cobblestone half slabs there. Can I get up? Yeah. Uh, so yeah, basically, uh, moral of the story, guys. Uh, go traveling. <laughs> see the see the damn world. You know, there's so many different like uh, cultures out there that you know you are missing out if you never like. I don't know. Just go. Just. Trust me, yeah? Just go traveling. <laughs> Wait, is, is that wrong? Ah, wrong one. Yep, we we have reached the pinnacle. This is it. There shouldn't be stairs here because there's going to be something else here. And night is setting. Typical for like, for some reason on this damn server, it's always night time. I don't know why. It's, just, like, it's always night time. And I haven't got any torches with me, so... Uh, basically, my plan was, um, well, oh man, that's a that that's a lovely sunset, right? Look at that! Oh man, look at like how it comes with the clouds. That looks awesome. Okay, guys, uh, aim check is online currently, so I can't sleep through the night. But um, I'm gonna wait until morning uh, to continue construction on the dojo. So uh, I shall be right back. Okay, guys, cool. Um, it's the next day now, uh, and we have Sly's DKs back. Mr. Alex, welcome back out. Uh, I know that you lost the internet, so welcome back to the server, buddy. Uh, I'm also cracking out the half slabs now on these corner, on these corner bits here. One there, and one here. Can I make it? Yep. Okay, now. Where's that spider? There's a. Sp oh, is he inside? Why do it when I'm recording? Why do it when I'm recording? Ah, there he is. Hello there, boss. How you doing, bro? Alright, sweet. This bit looks like a sort of arena, right? Don't get any ideas, guys. Don't get any ideas. Yeah, I think the one um, the one advantage to this design is that I've got all this space underneath the dojo for something. I'm not sure what to do with it yet, but there's quite a lot of space under there, so if you have any ideas, guys, throw them my way. It'd be much appreciated. 
every little helps. Okay, so uh, onwards to now. I can't jump up there, can I? <laughs> Brilliant. Okay, what should I crack out to get up there? What about dirt? Let's let's just go dirt for now. So yeah, basically um, onwards to the top bit here. So this is the top here. Now uh, the reason why I put dirt here is because um, I'm going to place logs down. Now the main challenge. Um, I'm recording. Now the main challenge uh, with this design is because uh, unlike the last dojo, the dojo mark one, uh, I never used stairs. Sorry stairs, I meant stone and stone stairs. Uh, now uh, these really sort of contrast rather horribly with wood or with wool. Yep, Alex saying hi rather predictably. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so uh, so stone contrasts rather horribly with wool. Uh, so I needed to I needed to come up with a way of transitioning from stone to uh, the dojo itself, and um, I think I've come up with a couple of ways that sort of that sort of transition nicely, you know, rather smoothly. I feel uh, the first way is bringing up, is sort of bringing up this outer frame by any extra blocks, so it sort of transitions inside the uh, the dojo. And secondly, I'm going to place these wooden blocks like this um, sideways. Uh, the reason for this is that, um, I don't know, I think it really adds this sort of wooden effect and um, even though it contrasts, it sort of contrasts in a really bold way so it really stands out and I think that works as opposed to trying to make it sort of transition smoothly. I don't know, I just think it works and it works nicely. Also, um, while I've been in Japan, I've I've seen that they expose the wood like this quite a lot. So um, let me just show signs of response there. <laughs> okay, yeah, man, dude, we go through wood like crazy here. So yeah, guys, there, uh, episode two now. And we are already starting with dojo. This is crazy, man. This is crazy. Uh, all thanks to Alex and Momo, and of course Steve-O for supplying the uh, the materials. Um. In fact, the one thing that I was low on, believe it or not, I can't believe I'm going to say this, but I was actually super low on cobblestone. Like, cobblestone, man, what the hell, right? Um, so yeah, but... Fortunately for me, um, I'm surrounded by good friends, good pals, and uh, so yeah, check that out. I'm not sure, but I think, love it, love it. Okay, so next up, we're going to start on the walls. Now, um, I'm going to go through a couple of features uh, that are gen that I generally use um, with. Yeah, that's right. With um, yeah, with um, Japanese buildings. Uh, the first one, uh, as you all know, is that I'm very biased towards certain block types, and um, oops, and of course, um, the first one being this sort of dark spruce wood logs here. Um, the sort of main aim with Japanese buildings, uh, because uh, the Japanese culture, they're very strong on aesthetics, on how things look, you know, the sort of true beauty of, of things, which means that in Minecraft we have to try and replicate that sort of feeling. And uh, we can do that by, um, we have to sort of, we have to include a variety of sort of textures and colours but they can't be bold ones, so it's you have to sort of it's like a bit hypocritical, you know. Like you you have to put so much into it, but it can't be like really loud. Um, and we can act, we can actually pull that off rather beautifully by um by having this sort of black and white wall, you know, uh, as well as this sort of third color contrast with this sort of really darkish brown. It just goes like so nice, so damn nice. Um, although this is this is my sort of you know this is my take on it if if you will uh, there are there are sort of myriad of different ways um, that we can pull off the Japanese style if you will but um, this is my favourite way my favourite way so man with this new texture pack these blocks just look so sharp right I love it it sort of looks like black iron blocks what do you guys think? <laughs> I think it looks awesome though. 
Yeah, man, that jungle. I keep seeing it out of the corner of my eye. I don't know. I actually, I had a four. I don't know what you guys are going to think about this, but um, I'm thinking. I love that. I, I love all these hills over here. I'm thinking I could put jungle trees in front of them in the, in the snow biome so you would only see like the jungle trees but with the colored like you know leaves of all of the other trees here that might work let me know what you think guys let me know what you think on that one probably will do it because I really it just stands out man ah stands out I've had some bad ex like um, experiences in jungle biomes put it that way <laughs> Man, I'm go I'm going through blocks like crazy, and this is only like the first level of the first damn building. And as per usual, it's getting night time already. Dude, what the hell? See so yeah, ya guys, um anyway, I'm gonna probably cut it here because uh, this is just sort of grunt work once again, and uh, as we all know, we all hate watching grunt work, just sort of mindless stuff being done. So basically guys, I'm going to finish off the rest of these walls before nighttime falls, although uh, would you guys like to indulge in the sunset with me once again? Oh man, that was a pretty awesome sunset, right? Now uh, I'm going to cut it here. So guys, um, once I finish this up, uh, I shall be right back. Okay then my friends, I thought we'd wrap up this episode here, uh, it's gone on for quite a long time now, I thought we, we would indulge in the in this sort of final part of our lovely sunset here. Uh, so my friends, uh, thank you for watching and I guess um, next episode we will probably carry on with the dojo, so uh, thank you for watching guys and I'll see you in the future. Bye bye.